Morning, Cam. Um, with the season just being over, just what has been just your thought process and how have you just assessed how this year went for you guys as a group? Um, looking forward, seeing how we can get better. Um, you know, seeing where we might have lacked this year and where we, you know, have areas to improve and, and trying to attack them for the future. With you, just what does the off season look like and just in what areas are you looking forward to working on when it comes to your game? Just getting better all around. Um, you know, physically, skill wise, just I think it's just gonna be a comprehensive all around, maybe, you know, not too many things in specific um, that I'll be up here talking about now, but um, just get better, just work. Um, I mean, if you can't be specific necessarily about the particular things that you'll be working on, uh, could you be specific on, in your mind, what you felt were the team's biggest weaknesses that didn't allow you guys to get to the goals that you wanted? Well, one, um, we didn't close games well. You know, there are plenty of games that if we closed them, you know, competently, uh, there would have been Ws. And uh, there's a very, you know, thin, fine line between between success in that end and, and you know, um, losing games in those fashions. So, so just getting better there and then just being better with the details of the game, being better with the details of the game, being sharper, good habits. Um, and I think that would lend well to you know, the intensity that we play with. And, I mean, as a veteran player on a long-term deal, I figured I'd be remiss if I don't ask. Um, you guys are going through a coaching search. Not specifically names, but what kind of traits do you think um, would be preferable in the head coach coming in, whoever that is? Um, you know, maybe – uh, detail oriented, you know. Um, I, I just like I said, I think we need to really develop good habits, a good foundation, a good base. Um, and there's a lot of ways to accomplish that. And uh, you know, different coaches bring different things to the table. But however we can do that the most efficiently, I think will be best for us. Cam, just for you, just. Obviously, this season didn't go as well as you thought it would just with the injuries and the changing role. I guess just how did you, looking back, how would you kind of assess just how difficult this season was just with the injuries and just the changing in role for you? Part of it all. Uh, it's part of it. And nobody ever said, you know, anything would be handed to you, anything would be easy. You know, adversity won't come up, so it's part of it. And you just got to, you know, take it, keep it pushing, keep working, and uh, focus on tomorrow, focus on what we can do today. And then I guess for you, was there a point in the season where you felt like things started to maybe change as a team? Was it the December 27th game where guys were sitting and guys were pulled? Or was it another moment you think where things just kind of turned? Was there a, maybe a key, another key turning point? It's, I'm not going to put it on any specific time in general. I think it was uh, – I think it follows that kind of arc that you mentioned, early January, late December. I think we were in a good place, you know, early December, mid-December, um, competitive in the mix, in the playoff hunt, and maybe, you know, trying to even get out of the play-in. Um, and we just stumbled, man, and it, we didn't pick up the pieces well. And we had a lot of games in that, you know, you talk about the December 27th game, we had a lot of games around that, specifically after that, that, that for whatever day aside, we just didn't get the job done, you know, at Washington, Portland at home, Portland at Portland. There's a lot of games – that you can point to where um, a couple of those Knicks games where we just we didn't close them well. So uh, that's going to be a big – and that was, that was part of our problems last year. Um, that was part of our problems in the playoffs. That was part of our problems in the regular season at the end of last year. So uh, definitely, definitely tons and tons and tons of room for improvement. But I think, I think, I think it's there. I think what we have is there. Cam, one of uh, you, you talked a little bit about kind of attributes that like a coach would need to have, you know, yeah. when they come here. One of the guys that's in the mix is somebody you know, Kevin Young, who yeah. was your assistant coach with Phoenix. I'm curious, what can you speak to him about what he did for you while you were in Phoenix, and you know, if you've endorsed him at all here when uh, he's been up for the job? 
um, for respect in the in the coaching process, the search process, the hiring process, I'm not going to comment on it. Um, you know, he's a, he's a great guy. He's a great coach, uh, and, and I like playing for him. Um, but I, I think it's out of respect for the for the process. You know, not to get anything out there and anything twisted up, um, and and then have faith in our front office and management and ownership that they'll make the choice that you know, pick the right coach that, that will be able to lead our group. Cam, uh, we saw you uh, take on a leadership role with, with the three rooks this year. Just what did you see from Jalen, Noah, and Derek this season? Oh, they were great. That was a, that's a huge highlight of the season because I think that's three, three highlights, three positive points, three wins right there. Uh, you know, anytime you can get guys that come in and, you know, even in the midst of everything that we had going on, buy-in, um, embrace the process, embrace the process of getting better, come in with a positive attitude every day. Uh, you just love to see it. And those guys came in and did that, and they got better. And, um, you know, they were they were great. So, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing how they develop this offseason. When it comes to the season you've had and the team has had, you know, last year you were up here talking about the excitement you felt going forward, obviously you had your free agency to deal with, but you know it seemed like you pictured yourself here long term. It seems like you don't feel that this season has changed your feelings about the organization or the long term future of the team. Despite the record being what it was, why did you why have you not wavered or changed your opinion on that? Like I just said, I feel like pieces are there. I feel like uh, the base is there. I feel like it's possible. It's a, it's accomplishable. Obviously, we failed in our mission this year, point blank period, no way around that. Um, but like I said, man, that's all part of the process. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. You just got to get better and focus on uh, what we can do going forward. And and that's where my head's at right now, how, how we can elevate the organization, how we can be better on the court, off the court, um, and, and, you know, get back on track to where we think we should be. Yeah. Well, it's not him in specific. It's a team, team-wide thing. Um, it's across the board where production wasn't in the same spot and, you know, our team identity execution wasn't, wasn't where it should be. And, I mean, I think the one thing that it does indicate is that <clears throat> when – He's clicking and playing well. We're a better team, and that goes for everybody. Um, but it's it's nothing on him. It's nothing on his shoulders. It's nothing extra burden that he has to bear. It was across the board. And, uh, you know, because of how he played at the end of last season, um, everybody might look at him and, and have their questions and suspicions. But, man, at the end of the day, I'm proud of him. I'm proud of him. And, and I've seen strides in his game. I've seen strides in the way he sees and reads the game and um, his ability to play with the ball in his hand and his shot making and his overall level for the game is increasing, ever increasing. Um, so there's no worry. There's no doubt. There's no, you know, people are so quick to be like, oh, maybe he's not who we thought he was and or, you know, whatever that may be. But he's only getting better. And, uh, you know, I got full faith in him. And, you know, and it isn't as everybody went through the same thing in the second half of the year. Cam, everything moved so fast, you know, last year. Now that you've had like a full season here in Brooklyn, just off the court, how did this season just help you find your comfort within the community and just with some, some of the community activities that you were able to do throughout Brooklyn? Oh, just, just being able to put my feet down, you know what I mean? And, and figure out the area a little bit and see what's going on and, you know, not feeling like everything's spinning around me. Um, Brooklyn definitely has some pretty unique and cool things to offer. And, um, you know, it's more than I thought it was. It's, you know, it's, it's a pretty, pretty big place. Um, and I like the commitment to the community that the organization shows and I appreciate it. So I try to help and pitch in and, and you know, do what I can do to uplift and, you know, interact. Thank you, guys. Thank you.